What did the fish say when it hit a concrete wall? Damn! You get it? You get it? Ah. Crank baits, guys. Square bill crank baits, rattle trap, shallow water crank baits. I split it up into two sections. Um, I'm gonna do one where it's deep diving crank baits. I'm gonna do one where it's shallow water crank baits, which is this one. Um, we just have a lot of crank baits, so I don't want to just combine them. It's gonna be like a 25 minute long video because I want to kind of talk to you guys and show my setup and everything. Um, but last week, you got I asked you guys what do you guys want to see, and I saw a lot of comments: jigs, spinner baits. Um, mostly crankbaits so I was like I'm gonna go ahead and go go crankbaits next week could probably be jigs um, but yeah leave a comment below on what you guys want to see just give me suggestions it doesn't mean I'm gonna pick that but give me suggestions if I see a lot of people choose one topic then I'm just gonna jump right on it post out the next week but I just need to get videos done in advance so let's go ahead and jump right into it and we have and guys, right here, I don't know if you guys can see, but we have all of the boxes labeled. This one says Square Bill. This one says Shad Wrap. This one says Stanford for Stanford Lures. That's the Cedar Lures. Lipless Crankbait. And that one's not labeled. But stay organized with your tackle, guys. I'll have to make a video for you guys over that, um, how we organize our tackle. So let's go ahead and start off with, like, the Square Bills and everything. So right when you open it, we have a pretty good bit of brands. Um, Spro's the main brand in here. We have a lot of Spro's. Um, we have some of the Stanford right here. So this is the Cedar Lure. And why, I know you guys are probably asking, why, why would you use a Cedar Lure rather than one with a lot of rattles? So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this. Um, the fish may be finicky. And I know you guys are probably saying, that doesn't matter. It, it can make a big difference. Say the fish are so lethargic and everything, and you're sitting there throwing that rattled crankbait, and it's sitting there rattling, and it can scare the fish off. Um, and that's when you have to adjust, and say you switch to like a balsa crankbait, or a cedar crankbait, any wood crankbait, where it doesn't have rattles, and you throw that, and it can make the biggest difference, guys. It is insane. It blows my mind how you can just be whacking fish on something that's so similar. You can have two of the crankbaits that look the exact same and one just not have rattles. And the same thing with like a Carolina rig. You can put a bead on and not get a bite and then take the bead off and just be smashing them. It's really, it's really crazy how finicky the fish can be sometimes. And that just makes a big deal. So that's like a little balsa one. Um, right here, here's like the Spro. A little square bill. This is my favorite color. We have a lot of them in there. Um, really big fan of these. But this is my favorite color. And this one you actually can't buy in stores. This is a custom painted one. Um, we pretty much got them custom painted for mostly linear. Um, the fish just tear them up. The spots just tear that color up. And we have a lot of other baits in this color. We have um, deep diving crank baits. We have swim baits. We have top waters like spooks. Everything in this color. It's just a really great color. We got somebody to paint them for us. Um, yeah, like I said, all kinds of colors in here. Right here we have a Jackal, and this is a Bling 55. I actually really, really, really like this bait. I really like the Jackal crankbaits. It has a lot of rattles in it, so if you're looking for something with a lot of um, vibration, a lot of rattles, um, this is a really good crankbait. Um, do really well on this one. have a couple colors in this. They're just a little pricey for the most part, but if it's catching fish, you might have to go with it. That's my favorite color. Um, and really any shallow water crankbait. If you're fishing in dirty water especially. The red crawl dog color. So yeah guys, that's pretty much all my square bills in there. I'll throw up a bunch of pictures on the screen with all the colors and everything. Um, but that's them. So now let's jump on to some of the little shad wraps and scatter wraps. Pretty much the wrap of stuff. Rapala, Rapala, whatever you guys want to call it. 
there's a little scatter wrap right there um as you guys know this was something new i believe about a year ago if i'm wrong correct me um it's been a while but we actually pre-ordered some of these off of tackle warehouse and got them in and we're getting them in all different um shipments because they're running out of them so quick because people wanted to see the hype and order them um but pretty much what this does it has the bent bill and um it goes like this in the water it's not like a standard crankbait where it's just going like this I'm just digging it i mean it's, it swoops wide so it's pretty much a reaction bite um the fish really like that and it just triggers them to attack it I have a lot of colors in those um shatter apps Got some regular shatter wraps right here. This is great on like rip wrap, some rock and stuff. Um, it's pretty shallow. This one goes a little deeper than most baits. Just other shatter wraps right there, different colors. So that's the baits in that box. Now let's jump over to the cedar lures, the wooden lures I was talking about and why I said it's so important. I would always um, keep some on hand, guys, just if it's a couple. I mean the fish can just really change and you just gotta adapt with that and change with the fish. This one right here is actually balsa and it's so lightweight. Only if you guys can hold this thing. I can't describe it. Um, let's just say this weighs less than a quarter. I mean this thing's so light, it's ridiculous. This is the balsa one. The cedar ones are gonna be a little bit heavier. Um, but I have tons of different colors in these. It's called the Patriot Shad. Tennessee shad color. Um, really pretty, pretty neat crankbaits. Like if I was, like if I'm, if I'm gonna throw a wooden crankbait, I would just throw these Stanford ones. Got some bluegill colors. Um, got these flat-sided ones. This one goes a little bit deeper, um, but about eight, eight to ten foot. Nothing too deep. So that's all those wooden ones that we have. So when the time comes, we'll have to use those. And here's my favorite out of the shallow water crankbaits. And it's the rattle trap, guys. I know you guys throw rattle traps all the time. Um, love rattle traps. And here's my favorite one right here. I'm just going to jump right into it. This is my favorite one. This is just a Strike King. The Red Eye Shad. You guys know it. Um, really simple crankbait. But it, it's so, or I wouldn't even call it lipless crankbait. Um, they're really good price, super good price range, and you'll just smash the fish on them. This color right here is just phenomenal. No secrets, guys. I want to tell you that's a good color right there. If you haven't tried it out, definitely go try it out. I'm um, red eye shad. Really great color, and for the price, I really like those. Also, I really, really, really like the Sibyl ones. Um, this one's a really pretty pretty much similar color to that red eye shad, except it's a little more orange. And this one has a weight in the front, so it's kind of more um, nose down. So it's digging like that, or not digging, but that's the action that's going um, where the nose is kind of face down more. That's a really good one. Caught a lot of good fish on the Sibyl. Have a couple good colors in that one. Um, got some Excalibur ones. This one's similar to the the Strike King one. Um, these are just a little more um, up in the price range, but these are great as well. Now, got some big old mamas right here. Got the jackal, um, water rattles. And if I can guess, there's probably 10, 15 rattles in there. It's crazy. Um, big old rattle trap. Here's the original rattle trap brand right there. That's a big rattle trap, guys. So you can catch some good fish on that. Um, got a little bit of Spro ones. It's a really small one. Got a lot of different colors in those. I don't throw those too much to be completely honest with you. Um, we do have a lot of them though. And also Live Target. Live Target ones. I don't throw these too often either. But they're really realistic. They're really cool, neat looking baits. So that's it for the rattle traps. Lipless crank baits. Let's go on to the last box, guys. This was pretty much just a sort of all random, um, just shallow water crankbait. It's not technically like square bill or lipless style, just regular shallow water crankbaits. Um, just some Strike King ones for the most part. Um, mostly all the same, as you guys can see. 
standard old crankbait. If you go to the pond and stuff, just tie one of those on. Like I said, those are just really cheap, not really affordable. There's our Apple. That one goes, I believe, like 10 foot right there. I guess it's kind of like more of a medium diver. There's a couple more Apollos right there. One's really realistic. Pretty neat looking. So yeah, guys, that's, that's all um, our shallow water crankbaits. We're just regular shallow water crankbaits to square bills, to rattle traps. Um, that's all of ours right there. Like I said, I'm going to make another video on the deep water ones. And so now, now let me show you my rod and reel combo. So the rod is a Mojo Bass, and this is the glass rod, glass cranking rod. And guys, I guarantee you, you will not find a rod. And I'm not saying this because I'm sponsored by St. Croix. I am sponsored by St. Croix. But I can guarantee you, everyone that I've, I say, try this. They're like, wow, that's phenomenal. Especially with like a 6XD, a 10XD. You can throw a 10XD on this thing and you can barely feel anything on your pole. Like you can barely feel it digging down. It's not wearing you out. And the 10XD, I mean, that can wear you out. Um, really great rod though. Has a lot of sensitivity. And it's really, really affordable. It's around $100. You can get them, you can even get them at Dick's. So, um, really easy to get to. And the reel is a Revo winch. Um, there's a five gear ratio reel and the line is 10 pound, 10 pound fluorocarbon. Um, so yeah, guys, that's the setup. And I really highly recommend this setup. The winch just casts really good, especially with these light crank baits. It just really gets the baits out there. Um, and it's really smooth reel. It's five, five to one gear ratio reel. So, um, there's five, four to one, five, four to one gear ratio reel. Really great reel, really smooth casting. And then the Mojo Bass Rod, guys, not just for the shallow water crankbaits, but for the deep water crankbaits, too. They're just amazing. Um, definitely go check those out. I'll leave a link below to Synchro's website. You can go check them out and read about them. Also, Synchro's makes a Rage Rod. I believe they stopped making them. Um, I do have a couple of them, but they're really great rods, and I really like them for the shallow water crankbaits and stuff. Um, just a lot of sensitivity on the tip which I really like. So let's kind of talk about where I would fish these baits. So see, I got this square bill right here and we're pulling up, or say we're pulling up on rip wrap and I got a rattle trap and I got a square bill. Um, most likely on rock, I'm gonna wanna throw this little square bill. Um, so you're gonna be hitting that rock and be digging into that rock and that's where the fish are gonna lay. When it comes by, the fish will just attack. Um, mostly for the rattle traps, you can work these a lot of different ways. You can throw it out there, you can reel it in, or you can throw it out there, you can yo-yo it. Um, I don't know if you guys have done that. I can do a tutorial on that. Um, it's a really great way to catch bass as well. But you can throw this next to grass, which is really good. Um, like throw it along the edges of the grass, which is really great. You can just throw it at the bank in general, rocky points, just shallow water fishing. Um, but for the most part, square bill on the rock and stuff, and rattle trap just mostly at the bank. You can throw the rattle trap on rock and stuff as well. Um, what I really like to do is I'll throw it on the edges of docks, and sometimes those fish hide under those um, black floats. They'll hide under there and they'll come out and they'll just attack it. I actually do that with the chatter a lot too. So yeah, guys, that's all my baits. If you had any questions. Leave a comment below and let me know what you guys want to see next week. I may be doing jigs. I'm not 100% sure yet. So go ahead and leave a comment below and let me know what you want to see. So thank you guys for watching. Like I said, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. And this weekend, I'm going to be going down to Ufala Thursday night. And I'm going to be practicing Friday and tournament Saturday. So I'm sure I'll have a vlog coming out Sunday or Monday um, for you guys to see watch and enjoy i also have another episode coming out friday so stay tuned for that thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next tackle tuesday chatterbait 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 wait fish head spin what's up youtube family noah from kicking their bass tv here with the first episode of tackle tuesdays i told you guys i was going to do this where I pick one bait, um, or if I was going over real.